In this video, we're computing the integral of x cubed cinch of x squared, where cinch is the hyperbolic sine function. Now, all we need to know about the hyperbolic sine function is that its derivative is cosh, the hyperbolic cosine function, and vice versa. And I'll post a link to where those facts were derived. And the first thing that occurs to me with this integral is, let's go ahead and substitute for the argument of the cinch function and call that u and then see what happens. So we just want to simplify that argument. So we're going to let u equal x squared. We also have to transform the differential and we get du is equal to 2x dx. So if we can find a 2x dx in this integrand, we can replace that with du. And we can find that 2x dx by inserting a factor of 2 into the integrand and compensating out in front with a 1 half and then splitting off a factor of x from the x cubed out in front. So in the next step, we're just going to manipulate things to highlight that differential du. I'm going to put a 1 half out in front, and then a 2 inside the integral, and I'm going to split off an x from the x cubed. That leaves me with an x squared left over. And we'll go ahead and put in the u for the argument of the cinch function. And now I see 2x dx, which I can replace with du, and I'm left over with this x squared but that's just u itself. So now we can write it as u cinch u, and then again, my 2x dx is just du. And this is a classic integration by parts integral. In integration by parts, we're gonna choose one piece that we differentiate and one piece that we integrate. And the advantageous thing to do here is to choose the u as the thing we differentiate because that gets simpler when we differentiate it. And you're probably used to using u and v as your substitutions for integration by parts. Well, we already used the letter u. So I'm just going to use t and v. I'm going to say let t equal u. This means that dt is du. And then the rest of the integral is a cinch u du. So we're going to say let dv equal cinch u du. And that means v is the antiderivative of the cinch function which again is the hyperbolic cosine function or cosh u. Now the integration by parts formula says that we take the product of these two variables t and v and don't forget the one half that's out in front of the entire integral so I'll just put that there. So I take the product of t and v so that's u cosh u minus the integral of v that's cosh u times dt which is just du. And again, cinch and cosh are each other's derivatives and antiderivatives. So the integral of cosh is just cinch. And we get inside these brackets, u cosh u minus cinch u. It's an indefinite integral, so we add a plus c. Finally, we have to replace u in terms of x, and u is equal to x squared. And I'll go ahead and distribute the 1 half as I'm doing this. I replace u with x squared, so I get 1 half x squared cosh x squared minus 1 half cinch x squared plus c and we're done if you enjoyed this video or at least found it useful check out another one by clicking one of the links on the left or click the zax lab logo on the right to explore dozens of physics and math playlists as always you can leave your questions comments and requests in the comments section below and i'll get back to you within 24 hours thanks for watching zax lab and best of luck on your math and physics journey